Warriors are back with another video. Uh, now this video will be quite similar to the the first ever how to video that I've ever done, which was um, how to make the coolest desktop background in Photoshop. Now the reason why I'm redoing the video is um, basically that it wasn't so clear and everything was so subtle and it just wasn't so proper for the viewers to see it, even though I really appreciate that I got 15,000 views, 114 likes, and only 4 dislikes, which is very good for a, a crappy quality video that I made. Which now I want to like thank my viewers back by making the same video, but in a better quality, in a better length ratio, and etc. So what I mean by that is if you watch my video, then you see that the intro is really, really extremely small. Like it's, like it's like, it's so shit. Okay, it's just, it's just really small. Then again, if you scroll over and then start watching my video, you would see. Let me just maximize this. Uh, you will see that first of all, the quality is so crap. It's at 360 pixels, which is not good at all. Second of all, it's at a 4 by 9 ratio, which is supposed to be 16 by 9. But since I had a crappy computer, uh, it didn't allow me to do that. Also, at the same time, my taskbar had no arrow. Uh, whatsoever so my taskbar looks completely dull so this is why i want to give you a better preference and better video coming up right now and yeah so to start off i'm going to go straight up to sh photoshop and uh, start up all right so in photoshop you want to go to file new and put put in your desktop uh, resolution click ok so uh, what you want to do is take the paint bucket and just uh, fill in the whole background then select the text tool and then text tool just select white the color white and select a, a big number let's say 72 text tool and uh, 72 and I'll type in uh, let's see subscribe now I'll be using the same font that I as I used for the <coughs> I'll be using the same font as I used for the other video, so all I have to do is highlight this text and change it to Birth of a Hero, which is the, the font. And to maximize this text by itself, all you gotta do is do Control T and hold Shift, so all size gets maximized at the same time, and just keep on dragging up to, to make the image larger. Then center it, and then OK. So now, what you want to do in the layer property is just hold Control J to duplicate that layer, which gives you uh, whatever name, copy. So then go back to your original layer, and this is the complicated part. So what you want to do is just click on Filter, Stylize, and Wind, and then click OK, and then just click OK. After this, you just want to click Control F once. Then I think on MacBooks it's Command F. I'm not sure, but I I, I think so. Then you want to go back to filter, go to stylize, go to wind. And go from the left and click on OK and then back to control F. And then what you want to do is go to image, uh, image rotation and go to 90 degrees counterclockwise. Which uh, brings the image uh, straight. So what you want to do is click on filter, stylize again and then wind again. And click on from the right now and then click C, control F control F control F and now what you want to do again is go to filter stylize wind then go from the left which is control F control F control F alright so right when that is done you're going to go back to image go to image rotation and go to 90 degrees clockwise this will bring the image back to its landscape position. And then uh, you want to double click. Um, you want to click on the subscribe copy, uh, and you want to double click on the subscribe copy and click on stroke, which you stroke the, the original text, and you could also add in some effects. For example, I'll I'll be using drop shadow. I could spread spread the shadow and make the shadow a bit more bigger. And what you want to do is go back to the subscribe layer and double click that for blending options. Again, in this, you want to just click on color overlay, which will bring the whole color overlay for the background. So just click on the color to whichever color you'd like. So I'll be putting, let's say, green as an instance or red. For this video, I'll be using red and done. So now that becomes the whole background for your desktop. Now, 
Uh, that is about it for the video. You can use this as a, as a watermark, uh, as a JPEG watermark. You can use this as a desktop wallpaper and whatsoever. This is the whole amazing desktop wallpaper that, that could be made usually and manually by you. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Later.